Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Apple's dual USB-C 35 watt wall charger. Now Apple, like many companies, has stopped offering wall chargers with their phones when you buy a new phone. You have to go buy one from them. And as with Apple, all these things kind of cost a lot of money compared to the competition. So we're going to take a look at this. Now there is two versions of this on the market, a compact smaller version of the USB-C um, chargers here that are dual ports in this one. Now we're going to review the standard here, but we'll link to the compact version in the show notes and in the first pinned comment if you want to find that uh, review also. I'll put a link to that down below. But I have to be honest, right off the start of this, I can't recommend this product. I want to break down a few reasons why, talk about why, especially if you're buying an iPhone 14, you do not want this charger because it's not going to be able to give you everything you think you're going to get from it. So keep that in mind. We'll be breaking down the pros and cons of it overall. But you know me, very rarely do I actually say don't buy a particular product because I understand there's a product kind of market for everybody out there. For example, not everybody can afford a two, $300 side wireless earbuds. I have to get comments when we review cheaper earbuds. We well, should just get the most expensive one. Not everybody can afford that. And there are features and needs and specific um, uses care characteristics and times where you may want a specific product over another. So we try to look at that. But with this, at the price point and other issues it has, I just can't recommend this. So let's take a look at why that's happening. First of all, if you want to find the current price, I will put a link to it down in the show notes and in the first pinned comment to it on Amazon. You can find it there. Second, if you want to help us grow this channel, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, so YouTube recommends our videos to more people helping us grow this channel. We would really appreciate your support. So with that said, let's take a look at this charger. Start off with just looking at the charger itself. It's a pretty standard charger. Flip prongs here for travel, which is nice. It is the removable Apple little thing here to flip at different countries. Two USB-C ports. And beyond that, just a plain white case, which I like. I like it when cell phone uh, accessory makers like this don't put a lot of bright light uh, logos over this. I just want this to vanish into my wall, not be something I'm really noticing as I go into my living room or bedroom or office, for example. But beyond that, it's pretty standard. Two USB-C ports, nothing else really to say about it. So what's the big problem with this, Luke? Well, it's 35 watts. Now, the new iPhone 14 comes out with a 30-watt charger. But this is 35 watts max, which means if you plug two devices in, you're only getting about 15 and change um, charge on average in our testing per USB-C port. And even worse, um, it's only a 35 watt charger. The iPhone 13 is a 20 watt charger, for example, so you can't max charge two iPhone 14s. The problem is that the price point on this is the price point of many devices that actually come in 60 or higher wattage um, chargers, which means you could, in theory, charge two iPhones from an Anchor 65 watt charger at the same price and be able to have a third USB port on there to charge other devices from it. And that's the catch. This is nice. It's, it's well made. In our testing, it delivered the power it said it was going to deliver. The problem is the price is significantly higher than similarly qual quality, similarly uh, spec products that do the exact same thing. So I do struggle to recommend this because it says, you know, hey, we're a two-prong 35 watt, but I can't max charge two of the new iPhone 14s or iPhone 13s. Kind of makes you wonder why bother buying this if you can't do that. You should be buying a product in this day and age that can max charge your new devices. Why spend the money for a dual USB-C port uh, when you can only use one of them to max charge your phones, for example? And that's my real catch here. Apple makes good stuff. They look nice, but not at this price point. Not for something that you're probably going to be hiding behind a desk, behind a nightstand, behind um, a couch, or wherever it may be. You know, keep that in mind. Is this something that you're really going to be looking at all the time? Are you willing to pay extra money just because it's a white block that looks Apple-y, even though it doesn't have the Apple logo on it? Keep that in mind. My recommendation would be to save that money and look at other brands. There are many Ugreen, uh, Anchor, and um, many others out there that will offer better products at the same price point that will actually max charge two iPhone 13s or two iPhone 14s, for example. So I think this is a little bit of a miss by Apple. 
It's not a compact small device. It's not like, oh, you know, yeah, it's not the best watch, but it's in a super small form factor. No, actually the Anchor one that's the same price, but a higher wattage is even smaller. So keep that in mind. So there you go. There's my recommendation. Well, it does what it says it's going to do. Does it well. It's, it can't max charge two USB-C ports. The big selling point of Apple here was the fact that they were coming out with dual USB-C ports. But if you can't max charge your iPhone 13 or iPhone 14, what's the point if you're doing two of them? So keep that in mind. So with that said, I will put a link to it on Amazon if you still want it. It does uh, meet all of our criteria. It does deliver the speed it offers. It does um, come well made. I didn't have any issues or testing at all in it. It just failed in the fact that it's very expensive and it doesn't max charge two iPhones when in our testing. So I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment if you wanna find it there. If you wanna help us grow this channel, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube will recommend our videos to more people helping me grow this channel. So with that said, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.